Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn with me, Alpha Bio Omega and Iran. So in the last episode our offensive has continued and we eliminated um, a small bunch of uh, Turkish units uh, near Artvin and uh, then we started our push towards southern border where we have a potential to eliminate four more divisions or maybe even more. Unfortunately uh, we've been pressed really hard near um, well near Tal Afar uh, actually and uh, the enemies are still attacking us and we're launching a counter offensive here and we're doing the same thing around Sirt uh, where we are pushing away some of the enemy forces and trying to push them away from the Arbakir but I'm really hoping that we can do this because that would be amazing <laughs> if not then this is such a huge waste but I'm trying desperately to eliminate enemy forces uh, because they have a numerical superiority and unless we manage to uh, lower the amount that they're throwing at us it's going to be rough doing anything so uh, let's see how it's gonna go okay so we've pushed them away from here which will allow us to launch a counter attack over here uh, guys guys are you going Okay, okay, now we're winning. Awesome. And you guys are also sending help. Okay, this will allow us to launch an attack and take a bingo. But unless we repel this uh, attack on the Arbakir, we're still kind of screwed. Um. You guys are coming here, right? Okay, get in there, guys. Because we're going to launch, uh, launch the attack against Bingo next. Okay, who's attacking you? Uh, an enemy tank division. Okay, let's send you guys over there, and we'll use you guys to launch an attack over here. And why the hell are you not able to do anything here? Okay, I think a better idea here would be to reinforce down south so who out of you is the best for that you are and you are okay I'll try to not to overextend too much okay, we have you guys that we can send into this attack and we have the tank division here that we can send into this attack just to keep the pressure on you know for good riddance okay the armor armor division is not the right one to send but you guys will be okay we definitely need to get rid of this this is so funny though because they are literally giving us the option here to attack the Arbakir but I'm just gonna be content with what I got here okay you go in here moving over there get into here yeah, how is it that we're still not winning this this should be extremely clearly our win and so should this one honestly 
Yeah. This is a militia unit. Come on, repel this. Okay, we have a tank division here that's doing nothing, and we have a tank division here that's doing nothing, so get on it, boys. And really appreciate it if we could retake this area and push them out of here. So even if we don't win here, we're gonna push them out of the Arbaki. No, that's uh, bingo. Do we have... We do have space for one more unit. Yep, we do. Okay, so you can join in that. Okay, you can then go here, because we need you support this uh, we have so many units here that are not doing anything are you guys You're very small though so are you those are not units that we can count on to do some major operations anywhere Okay, so the next most likely place where they're gonna break is over here. Okay, I'm already going to support. We're waiting here. This one is just a Costa Cook. And the issue is they have such a huge defensive potential here. We need to attack from more sides. Okay, so we get the border pictures of Turkey, which gives us even more attack bonuses against them. 5% against uh, in attack and 10% in defense. And border pictures of Iraq. Well, we don't need that. Uh, free air bases. Carrier fighters. Anything that would help the army. That's all navy. Small arm designs. Uh, land doctrine bonus. Okay, I'll take the land doctrine bonus. In reverse engineering, you tend to fail more often than you succeed. Trial and error is the name of the game we are playing, and we can modify our tactics around it. So we use a bit of political power. Oh, hey! We actually infiltrated the army of uh, the Turkish Republic and I actually wanted to prepare the collaboration government because it was explained to me uh, that that is how it worked okay and we can send you excellent risk operation bonus outcome Mohammed an operation Anyone who could lower the revolution on a safe cracker, what about you? Would you nope? Would you lower the chance? Nope. Said Kavosi. Okay, bonus outcome 85 85%. So that actually sounds like a good deal. It's gonna take a while though to make this happen. Okay, victories seem to be happening everywhere. At least wherever I can see them. Okay, and this attacked failed again, but this time these guys are in offensive attack. Oh god, no. Iranian consumers spend less. Hopefully this will go. 
Okay, well, let's transfer some shopping money and hope for the best. Nope, but our relations with Bazaar is now 100%. So at least that is good. When are the next round of anti... Combat corruption has finished, so we can do the next one. Encourage private funds to invest in our country. Well, the sanctions caused many companies to turn tail and run. Chinese investors have been developing our infrastructure and railways as part of their government's One Belt, One Road initiative. If we can negotiate with the Chinese government, we may be able to attract more investors to fill up the gap left by the Western corporations. Hmm. Unfortunately, that the greater increases their influence in our country. But I don't think we have much of a choice. So let's do it anyway. Okay, looking like victories everywhere. These guys are bleeding out. These guys are holding. These guys are holding, but that's not gonna be the truth for much longer you guys are holding you guys are attacking and helping them to break this okay we have just taken bingo amazing job guys good on you so yet another area fell to us I don't know how we can stop this pointless attack at our units. It's really ridiculous. Okay, you're retreating, that's fine. Okay, the victory here is pretty much assured at this point. Well, that is a bit too... A bit too cocky because they're sending reinforcements, but poor reinforcements they are. Oh, we haven't passed this whole time. Okay. So you're a militia unit. So are you. I think I might want to send. Okay, if we're sending reinforcements here, I'll send reinforcements here. Because this area isn't the biggest risk of cracking. Jesus Christ. Well, at least we're tying down these fools. Are they both attacking us? Is that a very easy push then once we break this attack mm. the offensive here is going well where we are really struggling is here and why the hell are we sending the armored brigade over here that is nonsense. Okay, so this was looking better, but we're holding. Okay, the 88th and 46th Armored Brigades have absolutely no, um, no organization, so let's keep them here. They're doing nothing. And so do these guys, which, which unit is that, Sepach Marines, Sepach Marine Corps, because you're not doing anything, so we'll throw you in there, Okay, this is not looking good. Come in there. Okay, 
Would you be able to do anything with this? Nope, not really. They threw in some reinforcements, so Erzijan is safe for now. What about you? You're attacking. Yeah, so Tunjo is going to be pushed out. Guys, get the hell in here. This is the hot zone. We have... Okay, I think we do have a chance here. I want to send you guys. What about the Marines? No, not you. What about your militia unit? So let's send you guys and you guys in the attack here. Yeah, it's gonna be way more devastating, or at least I hope. Okay. So we get this part done. We got twin jelly. We could just get rid of you guys. Because this is ridiculous. We've been trying to eliminate these three divisions for so long. That's it's literally ridiculous. Okay, you guys go to Tunjoe and you guys go to Tunjoe. How come they're still holding? Okay, they won't be for much longer. Just must make sure that there will be no reinforcements coming. Okay, get out, get out, get out. One more, one more, one more. And make sure that they will not reinforce. Okay, stop with this attack and stop with this attack. You guys are the best ones. And let's supplement you with this. Okay, we're holding here and this area is completely lost. Yeah, they'll take it. Might have a chance at pushing them back. Okay. And we also have a chance at taking this area back. And a really good one. This is what a bloody position war looks like, but I'm so shocked that we are actually still making progress on many places. Yeah, and they're sending reinforcements here. Which is what we need to stop. But we probably won't be able to for much longer. Actually, we're doing a really good job here. So if this, this holds... French elections, Western Outlook re-elected. Okay, let's uh, do a little look around our uh, other area so trial and error is working research wise we're gonna get the plate reinforced to us soon which is amazing that's gonna save a ton of lives the depth is still kind of fine we haven't really raked as much as i thought okay and we're being bombed but that's fine let's just finish these two factories okay uh, trade. Oh wow, trade wise, we are way overfilling our demand. Okay, so it's three extra factories. We still have a zero tax cost, which is just amazing. Uh, 
Okay, and this might be pretty good. And this might also finally happen, which would really be amazing. I'd really like to see you over there. It's all about just holding this attack together long enough. Which we might be, really, this might happen, finally, after so long, this might actually happen, and the answer command here could. Come on, come on. Okay, and we got yet another military factory. So what are we missing? Okay, pretty much everything at this point. ATGMs, mounted ATGMs, recon tanks, helicopters, utility vehicles. Okay, utility vehicles is something that we really need. ATGMs, five per day. Helicopters. Oh God, we're losing everything. Okay, let's put you over here. The next factor is gonna go on the ATGMs. Russia. You're my only friend. Nope. Nope, they they really don't like us anymore. I don't know why. Is it because the war is taking too long? China. Libya. Stop military aid, okay. Just military aid. Brazil, nope. Nope, none of these guys are gonna help us. We're slowly bleeding out equipment. I mean, I can start buying it on the international markets, but that's a horrifying concept. Come on, break! Yes! Do it. Finally, one of the many, like, long-term strategic goals is to be one. If we take this one as well and this one, we pretty much did a really good for this episode. And I'll be really happy. Sacrifice of our troops will not go unnoticed. And at this point... Wait, what happened? No! How the hell did they break it here? Oh, I'm so mad. Come on, we were so close. And now they're sending even more. And what the hell, you guys weren't even broken? It didn't... Why did you stop that attack? Okay, this is just bullshit. And I think we just lost Erzijan, didn't we? Yeah, we might have. Yeah, you guys are utterly exhausted. I can try to do this one more time. It's not gonna really help us much. Where are you guys going here? Yep. 
We got it. Amazing. Okay. Just keep delaying them. Because our attack over here is continuing. Just to relaunch it with everything you got. And push them out. Should we do it this way? Qatari diplomatic crisis. Several Arab countries have cut off diplomatic ties with Qatar and imposed a trade embargo escalating the long-term simmering dispute between Qatar and Saudi Arabia. The Saudi-led coalition demands include the closure of Al Jazeera, the severing of relations with Iran, and the closure of a Turkish military base in Qatar, among other things. Oh, woo. Okay. And we're once again over here, where we were before. Okay, we can stop now because they're not sending any reinforcements in here. And we can launch this properly. Come on, what the hell am I doing? Okay. You... Hmm. You attack. You attack. And you go in here. You just keep pushing them. It's not at all... 4.7, 12.6... Yeah, and they're sending more reinforcements. We were so close yet so far. And it's a commando unit. I really thought that, you know, at this point it's time that we just say, screw it. It's not gonna happen. Let's just murder these guys, push them out of there, and uh, hold the one. Because, you know, we've done whatever we could. To defend here and it just didn't work so let's give up we've done what we could it's time we uh, do it again but better okay I'm gonna take the owl here and in the episode we've attacked where we could we've regained the province over here we've kept them busy Turkey is at 63,000 dead. Uh, we are at 140,000 as far as our alliance goes. Uh, we'll keep... And we'll keep pushing here and we're gonna hope that it's gonna work. But that was just a giant waste of time of everyone involved because it didn't lead to anything. 
and it was just just a pain. So let's um, let's push these guys out. At least we defended Tinjeli, and we're gonna push out these. Yep. So let's just push them out and focus on holding the border properly because that's the only only thing that can work for us. It sucks, but it is what it is. Nah, that's painful. But yeah, we have to we have to be more strategic. So let's do it this way.